a juicy and flavorful pork loin is just a brine away. So first, I'm talking about pork loin today, which is thick like this, not pork tenderloin, which is thinner and needs less time in the brine. You'll need four cups of cool water and four and a half tablespoons of Morton's kosher salt. It'll be six tablespoons of Dixie crystals or three tablespoons of a finer salt. Mix until the salt is dissolved, then I like to add a scoop of garlic powder. You need the pork to be fully submerged. If it's not, you can make more brine or put it in a zip top bag with the air removed or a narrower container like this vase. If it's still not quite under there, add a little bit of plain water or more brine. Get it all covered. That's going into the fridge, but for how long? I've done a side-by-side taste test with multiple tasters unaware of the test conditions. Their preference was three hours. Anything less was well-seasoned, but not more tender. Anything over four hours was deemed too salty. So go with three hours. Remove the loin from the brine and pat it dry. Don't rinse it. Then season it with whatever you'd like, but do not add any salt or any blend that contains salt. Then cook it in the air fryer, on the grill, or however you like. But for the juiciest loin, don't go over 145 degrees Fahrenheit, final internal temperature. Get more taste-easy recipes at cookthestory.com.